Good morning, Sulphur Springs. Welcome to Monday Morning Live. I'm Adam Arnicky. And I'm Josh Nellen. We're here to bring you a recap of what's been happening at SSHS. All right, let's check this out. Do you like helping others? Do you enjoy rodeos and Easter egg hunts? Do you want to make a difference in SSHS and the community? Then Key Club is the place for you. MML's Nolan Hall has more. Earlier today, I spoke with Ashlyn Hooten about Key Club and what it is. Let's see what she has to say. Hi, my name is Ashlyn Hoot, and I am a three-year Key Club member. Uh, what is Key Club? Key Club is a service project. We help with things like handicapable rodeo and Special Olympics, and we just try to help different things around the community. Uh, who all can join? Anyone. Anyone can join, but the deadline is this Friday, and it's $20 to join. Thank you. Thank you. That was Ashley Hooten with Key Club, and we'll see you next Monday on Monday Morning Live. Thank you, Nolan and Riley, for that great segment. Adam, what is UIL? Well, I talk about it in the next segment. Let's cut to that. What's up, guys? My name is Adam Arnicky, and today we're talking about UIL and all their. Sorry. Okay. What's up, guys? My name is Adam Arnicky. Today we're talking about UIL and all their academic practices, how it benefits you, and how they want to act during it, and how they stay so composed. Here's a segment with me interviewing Mr. Barrett. Grafton. I'm uh, Mr. Grafton, Gerald Grafton, and I coach. Uh, I'm the coordinator for UIL Academic. UIL is academic competitions, and uh, it's it's great for a lot of reasons. It's it's good problem solving skills. It's good to learn how to write, to think. Um, it is. It's really gonna. It stretches you. I teach Matthew IL, yes, and and uh, also in the U UIL coordinator. In Matthew IL, we have events: number sense, calculator, and mathematics. Um, those events are great. I mean, if you're looking for something to help your ACT scores and SAT scores, if you prep for those tests, you're going to definitely have advantages in them. Um, and it, uh, it, it'll just prepare you for college and for life. It's a good experience. What a refreshing segment, guys. And thank you to Mr. Grafton for giving us just a little bit of your time to talk about UIL. Now here's another segment to talk about more of our activities for today. Thank you for that report, Adam. Thank you so much, and that was a great and refreshing bathroom break. Now, for the moment you've all been waiting for, Nerdistry with Billy D. Welcome to Nerdistry with Billy D. Today we're going to be talking about Magic the Gathering. The first question is, what is Magic the Gathering? Magic the Gathering is a card game that has been around since the 90s. And this game has amassed millions of players worldwide. This game requires a 60 card deck for standard play, which a majority of that deck includes lands, islands, swamps, plains, mountains, etc. And these lands can have a variety of different effects such as milling or putting the top card of an opponent's deck into the graveyard. I enjoy this game because this the decks are very customizable. Playstyle is another concept of the game that always keeps me guessing what the opponent will do next. Finally, the, the artwork for the cards are absolutely eye-popping. This has been Nerdistry with Billy D. Stay nerdy and have a good Monday! Billy D is a man. Just when you thought you knew it all, Jesse and Jordan bring power rankings. Good Monday morning and welcome to Power Ranking. I'm Jesse. I'm Jordan. We're going to be ranking our top five movies this year. Our number five spot, Black Phone. Black Phone was just really slow and boring. It only had one good jump scare in it and that was it. Our number four spot, Minions Rise of Gru. We put that there because we didn't know what else to put. Yeah, it was just Just had, I don't know, just a bunch of lame jokes in it. That was about yeah. it. Really lame. Um, number two spot, Jurassic World. Jurassic World was faster and just had a better plot. And I liked it more. It was mainly about Locust, though. It wasn't really about dinosaurs. Okay, buddy. Um, our number one spot, The Batman. The Batman was just an all around good movie. The only bad thing I would say is just the runtime, and we had to sit in an angle because we were on the front row. We couldn't see the whole screen. Really looking up the whole time. It's horrible. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm Jesse. I'm Jordan. See you next Monday. Wow, 
My taste in cinema really stinks. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching Monday Morning Live. And for all of us in room 307, we're signing off until next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.